Hi everybody and welcome to this quick tutorial for the use of Smart Notebook in particular creating one or two slide lessons that you can use in your classroom and this uh, video tutorial is designed in a way that I'm assuming you already have the Smart Notebook installed I'll try to make it no more than three to four minutes long if you need to uh, download and install the Smart Notebook, I have another tutorial that you will uh, undoubtedly get a link to so that you can learn how to download it to your laptops at home. So obviously the first step will be to, to load the Smart Notebook. And the greatest misconception when it comes to the software is that you can't use it unless you have a smart board. And that's not true. You can use many of the, um, if not all of the program on its own. The smart board just makes it fun for more of your students. Now, across the top here, you have several icons. Each icon has a separate functionality. When you take your mouse and hover over each icon, it tells you what its uh, capability is. So, I'll go through them anyway and I'll start with the arrows across the top. So this is obviously forward and backward with the slides. The page at the plus line is add a page, so I can do that. Okay. And now I can go back to the first page or down to the second. <clears throat> I can open a file that I might have saved. I can save a file that I'm working on. I can paste whatever I've copied I, this this is a shortcut button for that. This is my undo button. Beside it is the redo, followed by the delete. Those are the biggest, uh, I guess the most important functions you want to know. And then the next set of functions are a little more fun. There's a shade that allows you to apply the sh uh, a cover on certain parts of the screen. And I can exit the shade by clicking on that X. This is a full screen view. It's a toggle, so I can click on it to turn it on, and I can click on it to turn it off. Then I have a transparency. If I click on that, my whole background is invisible, and I can return by clicking back on that toggle. I have a dual view, which allows me to see two slides at the same time, and single view so clicking on the same button will activate and deactivate. I have a camera which allows me to take a picture of whatever's on the screen. And then I have a document camera which isn't really current anymore but it's there. I can click on this and insert a table of any dimensions that I wish and it'll appear. I'm just going to delete it and of course the selection tool. The selection tool, the, the black arrow, is the very most important tool there is. You must always come back to this tool whenever you're using it uh, for a lesson and I'll show you why. You have uh, the regular creative pen and see I'm using the mouse right now to just do my best to say hello and then I have something called um, more of a creative, it's more creative uh, than that ordinary pen. You can create using those a variety of symbols. And then I have the eraser, which comes in handy. All right. And I also have shapes that I can draw. I can. Now, as you see me do this with the video, I highly recommend that you pause and you open up your smart notebook and try this along with me because it is kind of fun, let's be honest. I also have a shape recognition tool and this shape recognition, recognition tool is essentially I try my best to draw a circle and it'll fix it for me. Isn't that great? This is a magic pen. The magic pen is really useful. If I do a circular motion around an area and I close that shape, it highlights it in that manner. If I draw a rectangle or something of the like and I make sure to close it, 
it expands it. I have my paint bucket, which allows me to paint whatever shape I'd like. And on the left side menu, I have fill effects. So if I click on solid fill, and I want a yellow star, because I'm partial to yellow stars. And that's how that goes. If I click on the A, that allows me to insert text of my choice. There isn't much to choose from, but again, it's not really a text kind of program. And I can click wherever I want to insert the text. Now, when I go back to the arrow, I this is the fun part, I can move things around. I can twirl them by touching the and dragging the green spot on the top. The white dot on the bottom right allows me to resize and even my handwriting can be done the same way. And then I have a nice little menu on the right. And and if you notice the first option says recognize hello. And if I click on that option, it textualizes it, which is kind of neat. So that's your crash course on the icons across the top. And that's the end of part one. So I really encourage you to try to play with all of the icons that I've just shown you.